YouTube channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different one and it has been a long time in the making. So I went for a skin consultation in therapy clinic back in October, so it's about eight months ago now, and basically they put me on a skincare routine. So they gave me basically a list of all the products that I should have that would be good for my skin and that I kind of needed for the areas I wanted to target. So at the time, my main focus was kind of introducing some really good anti-aging products into my skincare routine and also getting a few kind of cleansers and exfoliators that were going to clear up my skin. So I had quite a bit of congested skin and I would get blemishes from time to time. So I wanted some really good products that was going to clear that up. So I had my skin consultation with Even, who is a therapist in therapy Galway and she's absolutely brilliant. My mom and sister both go to her now as well and we all just find her like really good. She's really knowledgeable. So following the skin consultation, she was able to tell me quite a bit about my skin and kind of the products that I needed to introduce into my routine. So she gave me a product list of a skincare routine, kind of what I should use AM, what I should use PM, and then a few treatments. And all of this was to target the pigmentation, congested skin, and just really clear up my skin, then also hydrate my skin and introduce some anti-aging products into my skincare routine. So eight months later, I can honestly say I'm so much happier with my skin. It's much more hydrated, it's not as dull, I don't have like as dark circles under my eyes, it's a lot brighter, and most of all, it's a lot clearer, and I have a lot less blemishes. So before I talk you through all of my daily skincare products, I do just want to mention that I also got a couple of treatments in Therapy Clinic, and those were the Image Skincare Peels. So as well as using all the products that Therapy recommended, I also had four treatments in Therapy, and those were the Image Skincare Peels, which I really liked as well, and I think that they contributed to clearing up my skin a lot. So I've written a full blog post about the peel, so I will link that below in the description box if you want to click and read that over on my blog. So now I'm going to talk you through all the skincare products I use, starting with what I use in the mornings. Um, so the first thing I do is cleanse my face, and this is the cleanser I have been using for the past few months. Um, so it's by Image Skincare, and it's called the Ormedic Balancing Facial Cleanser. The Balancing Facial Cleanser is a wash-off cleanser, which is what I prefer. I like kind of like cleansers that I can wash off or use a muslin cloth to take off, um, as opposed to like cream based cleanser that you kind of tissue off. Um, so yeah, I wanted to opt for a wash off cleanser and then this is the one even recommended. Because I have a little bit of like dehydrated skin, this cleanser is brilliant as a wash off cleanser because it's not dehydrating even though most wash off cleansers are. So what this does is it actually, it's a balancing cleanser and it balances the pH levels in your skin so that your skin stays hydrated and it doesn't dehydrate your skin at all. So it's also an organic blend cleanser, which is really good because I have sensitive skin. Um, but yeah, overall, I just absolutely love this. Once my skin is all clean, I apply two serums before my moisturizer. So this is the first one here and it's by Bare Minerals and it's called their Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. Um, and this is just a really nice one to use in the mornings. It's really lightweight and it's quite like water based and I just feel like my skin like drinks it. So it really soaks in and it just feels amazing on my skin. It feels really hydrating. Um, but it's great that it kind of really soaks in and it's lightweight so that it's perfect if you're kind of putting on moisturizer and then makeup over it. It's not like too heavy under your makeup. So the next serum I use, actually use it mornings and evenings, is this one here. And it is the Image Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. So I had heard quite a lot about this serum and it was recommended to me following my skin consultation as well. Um, so vitamin C is really important for anti-aging so I wanted to make sure I got that into my skincare routine somehow. Um, and yeah, it's just also really hydrating. It also has vitamins A and E which are really important and it has loads of antioxidants. And then lastly in the mornings I apply my moisturiser. So the moisturiser I'm using um, for, I've been using this since October when I first went to my skin consultation. It was one of the first things I bought. Um, and this is also by Image Skincare. And it is the Prevention Plus Daily Hydrating Moisturiser in SPF 30. So I always make sure to have SPF in my moisturiser. Um, I actually think though, I used this recently when I went to Portugal, but I think from now on when I'm going away, like going abroad in the sun, I'm going to get the 50, SPF 50 version of this. So it comes at 30 or 50. Um, but yeah, I think for Ireland, um, the 30 is fine. But this is just a really nice moisturiser. And unlike a lot of like SPF moisturizers, it's not very, like it's white going on obviously, but it just sinks in straight away. There's no like white residue and it's also not too heavy or oily under makeup. That also comes in a matte version as well if someone had quite oily skin and they wanted more of a matte moisturizer. So now onto my nighttime skincare routine. And the first thing I do is take all my makeup off and cleanse my face. So I use the same cleanser as I mentioned earlier, but I also wanted to mention this cleanser here. 
So this is the Adamest Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and this is the cleanser that I used before I started using image products. So while I loved this cleanser and I still do love it, I found that I needed something a little bit stronger to clear my skin and kind of get rid of all the congested skin I have. So the image is perfect for that. But I also use this from time to time. So for anyone who likes cleansing balms, this is a really nice one. Um, it's a really thick consistency. I love the smell of it. It like smells like a spa. Um, I really like all the Alamis products and I mainly used a lot of Alamis before I started using Image. But yeah, I'm kind of starting to use this again in the evening sometimes, like after I've cleansed my face. So I do like a double cleanse and I just find that this leaves my skin so soft um, in the evenings. It's just a really nice product and it's pro collagen so it's really good for anti-aging as well evening so at the moment i'm using the vital c serum which is the hydrating and anti-aging one that i most use in the morning and um, the other serum i use is this one here and this is actually empty at the moment so i've been out of this for almost a month now so i need to get a new one really soon but this is also by image skincare and it is the illuma intense lightening serum so this product actually targets and prevents pigmentation so it's really good for clearing your skin and getting rid of any kind of like colouring or redness or any kind of tones that like dull tones in your skin and I just found this to be brilliant and it just like it's lovely on the skin your skin feels like fab after it it's a really nice product. So the eye cream I'm using at the moment that I use every evening is this one here and it's the LMS Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment and it is an eye serum. So I've you've been using this for quite a while now and I really like it. Um, as I said, I like a lot of the image products, especially for like their anti-aging. So I tend to get them in the Pro Collagen range. Um, I will link the, a few of them below if I can or I will link the Pro Collagen range if you want to have a look at it. Um, but I've done a lot of research on a lot of anti-aging products and the LMS Pro Collagen range is meant to be one of the best. Um, but yeah, I really like that one. So that's the eye cream I'm using. So the night cream I'm using at the moment is also by LMS and their Pro Collagen range and it is the Oxygenating Night Cream and this is meant to be brilliant to kind of brighten your skin but also kind of tighten it um, and tighten the kind of like promote elasticity in the skin. So again it's meant to be really good for anti-aging and um, I do find this really good and I've loved using it but more recently I got a sample from Therapy of an Image Night Cream. And I have to say, I really love this one. So this is by the Armedic range as well, and it is the Biopeptide Cream. And I had heard quite a lot about this, and then I got the sample, and I think I've converted already. So I think once my Alamis Night Cream runs out, I'm gonna get a full product of this. This is obviously a sample size. Um, I get a lot of samples in therapy before I pro purchase any products. So if you do go into therapy, make sure you ask for samples, because they're quite good like that. So now on to what I use to exfoliate my skin. And I have to say I've used a lot of exfoliators in the past. I think because I had that quite congested skin, I kind of used to get a lot of exfoliators to try and clear it and nothing really worked until this. So this is also by Image Skincare and it's called their Ageless Total Facial Cleanser. So this is essentially a cleanser, but it's also, it's got glycolic acid in it. So it's got 12% glycolic acid, which is quite high. So it's quite potent. Um, and it's a glycolic wash basically so it's just like a wash off cleanser but it exfoliates your skin as I said it's quite a potent like strong product so when I first got this therapy recommended that I only use it once a week then twice a week and then maybe three times a week so at the moment I'm probably using it around twice a week and I find when I use this regularly I don't really get any spots like my skin is really clear from like blemishes and congestion or anything like that but I do find that every now and then I just kind of like use my daily cleanser and every now and then I kind of almost forget to use it and I notice my skin isn't as good so this is brilliant for clearing your skin again it's really strong though so I wouldn't really recommend buying it unless you've had skin consultation um, especially because it's quite expensive so I don't want anyone going out like buying any of these products without having a skin consultation first, um, especially the image ones. Um, and yeah, the skin consultation is lovely, it just feels like a little facial, so be sure to like pop into therapy and ask about a skin consultation, or just have a chat about the products. Um, but yeah, this one especially is, um, is a really strong one, so you would need to kind of be advised on whether it will suit your skin and how often you can use it. Before I started using the Ageless Total Cleanser, I did still use glycolic acid because I knew it was so good. Um, so how I used it was in this product here. So this is by Pixi and it is their Glow Tonic and it is essentially an exfoliating toner. And this is 5% um, glycolic acid, so it wouldn't be as strong as the cleanser. It also has aloe vera and ginseng in it as well, so it's packed full of like really good ingredients. 
So I'm sure a lot of you would have heard about this. It's a really popular product. Um, well, it's become like really popular in the last year or so. I've used this, I think, for about two years now. Um, I've had loads of them. One thing I will say, actually, it like it leaks really badly, so I can't bring it anywhere. So I often have like a couple of them around the place. But um, yeah, it's really annoying for leaking, just FYI. Um, it can be hard to get, actually. So if I can find a link, I will um, link it below. Um, but yeah, this is just really nice. You just use it as a toner, like you put it on like a cotton pad and then just rub it along your face after your cleanser. Um, and this one wouldn't be as strong because it's 5% glycolic acid. So a lot more people would be able to use this. But again, I wouldn't use it every day. So I think really they recommend if you're using a Clarisonic that you use it daily because um, apparently it takes off your makeup like six times faster or better um, than just using like a cloth or any cleanser. Um, and what I do, you can put the, your cleanser like onto your face or you can put the cleanser onto the brush and then like brush your face with it. Um, but I don't really use this every day. I used to use it a lot more but to be honest I don't feel like I need like as deep a cleanse like with something like this what, since I'm using like the image products and since my skin has cleared a lot. So what I do is when I exfoliate my skin like once or twice a week I use a total facial cleanser and I rub it into my skin really well and then I use this so I get a really good exfoliation and a really good clean. Essentially what this does is you just switch it on there so you can kind of hear it vibrating and the bristles go around and then basically you kind of do your forehead and it beeps and you move down to your chin and it beeps and you go to your cheeks so it basically like tells you when to move and I think it's like a minute or something um but yeah it, it's really good and you can kind of see like the odd time I've used it and I like thought my makeup was off and then when you use this you actually see more makeup kind of coming out of your skin so it definitely is really good for getting a really good clean so I'm almost there I just have a few more products to talk about and so this is the next one and this is actually a mask so I kind of find I used to use loads of exfoliated masks but I haven't been using or loving like as many since I started using the glycolic wash because I feel like that's exfoliation enough so what I've been doing more so is using a lot of like hydrating masks to target like my dehydrated skin. This is brilliant. It's, it's actually a gentle exfoliator as well, um, but it's a hydrating enzyme mask. It's really good for like dull skin. It's got vitamin A, E and C. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of, it's really good for hydrating and giving you kind of more radiant and brighter skin. So the next product I'm going to talk about is another mask and it's probably my like number one skincare product, like desert island product. I absolutely love it. And I have to say I haven't been using it as often since I cleared up my skin, but when I did get blemishes, this is what I needed. So this is the Eve Lam Rescue Mask. So this is a mask and it's meant to like kind of get rid of any blemishes and just kind of really clear up your skin. But I actually don't use this as a mask. Well, I can't remember the last time I used this as a mask. I essentially use this as a spot cream and it is brilliant. So I've used this for probably around three years now. Obviously, I've had a few different um, tubes of it. Um, as soon as it runs out, I go and get another one. Yeah, whenever I do have a blemish, I find if I put this on it, it gets rid of it like really, really fast. It's just so good. I absolutely love this product. So the next two products are these products here, and these are by Kiehl's, which is another one of my like favorite skincare brands, and um, they have some really nice products. And again, I've tried a lot of their products. I used quite a bit, um, so I used a lot of like Kiehl's and Elemis before I started using Image. Um, but yeah, these two products are both from Kiehl's Midnight Recovery um, range. So this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and this is Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. Um, so basically how I use these is whenever my skin is very tired looking or if I've had like maybe a couple of late nights or if I just need to kind of like waken my skin a little bit, I will use these for a couple of nights. They're also really good after traveling when your skin's a bit like dehydrated and tired as well. I will use these two products and I do feel like they work wonders. Um, so this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and it's a replenishing elixir of oils. So I really like this product and I do use it maybe maybe once a week or a couple of times a week. But I find because I've had congested skin, I try not to use too many oils. But when my skin is clear, this is perfect. And um, like, yeah, it says like it visibly restores the appearance of my skin um, of skin by morning. And I do think it really does work like it kind of I feel like it makes me look like I've had a little more sleep than I have <laughs> and then I kind of use the midnight recovery eye cream in the same way so if I feel like my eyes are like quite puffy and just really tired looking I will pop this on and by morning they usually look a lot better so those are all the products I use and I do have to say I'm really happy with how my skin is at the moment it's a lot brighter it's certainly a lot clearer the tone and texture is more even and it is a lot more hydrated and I do have to say my number one tip or if you take anything away from this video I would like it to be that you book a skin consultation if nothing else just to make sure that you're spending your money on products that will suit your skin and you're not kind of wasting on products that won't really work for you so yeah there's plenty of like beauticians and skin clinics that will do consultations 
I have, I know I've mentioned therapy in this video and they're the only clinic I've ever gone to for a skincare consultation so I can't really talk about anyone else um, but I was really impressed with them. So obviously I had the same therapist throughout who was even in the Galway clinic um, but I would imagine that everyone in therapy gets the same training and I would imagine they're all just as good. Um, but yeah, she was hugely knowledgeable and just everything that I tried really suited my skin and I do feel like it was money well spent on all of these products. But yeah, if you do have any questions about any of the things I mentioned in the video or if you have any recommendations for me, I would love to hear from you. So just comment below if you would like. And if you liked the video, I would love if you would hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.